Welcome back. According to public records, Dominion voting machines are used in 2,000 jurisdictions in 30 states. According to experts, if one site has a flaw, other sites are likely to as well, which is why Texas rejected using Dominion software three times, raising concerns that the system was not safe from fraudulent or unauthorized manipulation. That's troubling, given we already know that at least two software glitches in Georgia and Michigan occurred on election night. Attorney uh, Sidney Powell is leading the charge against Dominion, and she says she has enough evidence of fraud to launch a massive criminal investigation. Sidney, thanks very much for being here. We appreciate your time this morning. I want to get right into it. We just heard about the software uh, made by Smartmatic from Rudy, and I want to get your take on what you report, what you and I spoke about just a few minutes ago, and that is a gentleman named Peter Neffinger. Tell me how he fits into all of this. Yes, well, he is listed as its former Admiral Peter Neffinger, or retired Admiral Peter Neffinger. He is president and on the board of Smartmatic. And it just so happens he's on uh, Mr. Biden's presidential transition team that's going to be non-existent because we're fixing to overturn the results of the election in multiple states. And President Trump won by not just hundreds of thousands of votes, but by millions of votes that were shifted by this software that was designed expressly for that purpose. We have sworn witness testimony of why the software was designed. It was designed to rig elections. He was fully briefed on it. He saw it happen in other countries. It was exported internationally for profit by the people that are behind Smartmatic and Dominion. They did this on purpose. It was calculated. They've done it before. We have evidence from 2016 in California. We have so much evidence. I feel like it's coming in through a fire hose. Wow. So, Sydney, uh, you feel that you will be able to prove this. Do you have the software in your possession? Do you have the hardware in your possession? How will you prove this, Sydney? Well, I've got lots of ways to prove it, Maria, but I'm not going to tell on national TV what all we have. I just can't do that. OK, but you have a very time for a small time frame here. The elections are supposed to be certified in early December. Do you believe that you can present this to the courts and be successful within this just couple of weeks? Well, let me put it this way. First of all, I never say anything I can't prove. Uh, secondly, the evidence is coming in so fast, I can't even process it all. Millions of Americans have written, I would say by now, uh, definitely hundreds of thousands have stepped forward with their different experiences of voter fraud. But this is a massive election fraud. And I'm very concerned it involved not only uh, Dominion and its Smartmatic uh, software, but that the software essentially was used by other election machines also. It's the software that was the problem. Even their own manual explains how votes can be wiped away. Uh, they can put, it's like drag and drop Trump votes to a separate folder and then delete that folder. It's absolutely brazen how people bought this system and why they bought this system. In fact, every state that bought Dominion for sure should have a criminal investigation or at least a, a serious investigation of the, uh, federal, of the officers in the states who bought the software. We've even got evidence of some kickbacks, essentially. Kickbacks. I want to take a short break and come back on that. And I want to ask you about the kickbacks and who took kickbacks in which state. Sydney, stay with us. Quick break. And we've got more breaking news this morning from Sydney Powell. Stay with us.